Hi everyone, this is just going to be a really quick video on how to access the advanced settings menu for your diesel heater controller. You can get there by either clicking your OK or your settings button until you see four dash lines. And they'll be flashing. This is where you enter 1688 using the up and down arrows. So let me quickly do that. One, OK, six, eight, eight. All right. Now I've been able to access the advanced menu. There's gonna be a few parameters here you can change. The first being the minimum pulse rate of which your diesel heater will operate. I've got mine set at 1.4. This is through some trial and error of tuning my heater using a carbon monoxide detector. So I'll leave mine at 1.4 Hertz. The next item is your max pulse rate. I don't ever really need to let my pulse rate ever go more than 3.5. I don't need that type of heating load. And when I'm in automatic and just functioning using the temperature mode, I don't like it going above 3.5 hertz, so that's where I've left it. The next item here is the minimum RPM. Mine bottoms out at 1500 RPM. I can't go any lower than that. So I've matched the 1500 RPM to the 1.4 hertz setting I've previously entered, and that gives me a really good clean burn with the fuel type that I have. So you can go through and tweak this as much as you like. The next item is the max RPM setting. As you know, I've set my max Hertz rate at 3.5 Hertz, and I like to match it to about 3,500 RPM. I find this works best for my operation and gives me the cleanest burn when I put a carbon monoxide detector against it to analyze how much efficiency I have when I burn my fuel. And you can tweak that as much as you like. The next item is the voltage. Uh, your options are 24 volt or 12 volt. Mine's a 12 volt system, so I've left it at 12 volts. The next item actually impacts how your system reads rotations per minute or RPM. Mine set a default to one, meaning there's one magnet to detect the RPM. Some units have two magnets, and therefore it needs to be entered as two, so the proper RPM is being read. I'm just gonna leave mine at one. The next item here is to enter in the wattage of your glow plug. There are a few settings here, one all the way up to six. I leave mine at five. Um, you can look through your manual to determine what each of these numbers mean, but just quickly, I'll just read off what my manual says. One is 35 watts. Number two is 40 watts. Three is 45 watts. Four is 80 watts. 5, which is my default, is 85 watts, and 6 is 90 watts. So I'm just going to go back to 5. And there you have it. Those are the settings in the advanced menu. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.